Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another Division Weekly Vendor Reset. As always, we start off with the blueprints. This week we have a Military M9, a SAS G12, holster, stamina knee pads, Omega Rifle Suppressor, a MK4 M5A2 scope, I've never actually seen that scope before, a Firearms Gear Mod and a Electronics Gear Mod blueprint. Over at the Special Equipments vendor, obviously the exotics don't change, but the talents do re-roll. The Pecan rolled with Skilled and Determined, the Liberator with Brutal, Swift and Accurate, the Centurion with Expert and Intense, the Cassidy with Predatory and Capable, and finally the Historian with Vicious and Talented. Whilst we are in the Special Equipments vendor, I also want to point out this Military M870. It's got a really high damage roll, sitting at around 95%. It's also rolled with deadly, brutal, and competent. Almost a god-rolled shotgun there, so if you're definitely looking for one, I really recommend picking this one up. At the advanced weaponry vendor, we've got a Rhino with Expert and Meticulous, a converted USC with Brutal, Responsive, and Ambusher, a G36 Enhanced with Responsive, Prepared, and Focused, Another M870 here with self-preserved, meticulous and dominant. Finally, the first wave M1A rolled with brutal and competent. So that's the base of Operation Vendors done. We're now going to have a look around the world for some weapons that I think are worth picking up this week. So kicking things off in East 53rd Street Checkpoint. This is easily the pick of the week. A Lavoa C or a LVOAC rolled with predatory deadly and competent. All you'd have to do here is roll off predatory and go for something like responsive and you've easily got yourself a god rolled LVOAC. Like I said this is probably the pick of the week so if you don't pick anything else up make sure you pick this one up. It is unfortunately in the DZ so you're gonna have to pay 416,000 DZ credits. But I'll repeat myself this is in DZ East 53rd Street checkpoint. We're now in the DZ03 safe house. Here we've got a really nice PP-19. It's sitting at a 94% damage rating and it's rolled with skilled, competent and hurried. Again guys, like I said with the LVOAC, roll off skilled here and go for something like responsive. You could even go for adapt and you can make this into a really nice defense build. But this is in Dark Zone 3 safe house. We're now at DZ West 42nd Street checkpoint. Here we've got a nice black market AK-74. Now I'm not really looking at the talents here, but the damage is rolled at 98%. It's got dominant, destructive and swift on it, so you could certainly make use of it, especially in a skill build or something like that. But I just thought I'd point it out because of the high damage roll. So that about covers the weapons that I think are worth picking up this week, but now we're going to have a look at some of the gear. So the first bit of gear this week is going to be in East 40th Street Checkpoint. Here we've got a really nice refreshed mask. It's already got skill power rolled onto it, so roll off one of the three main attributes and you can get yourself a pretty perfect refreshed mask. If you never used refreshed before, I definitely recommend throwing it in one of your builds one time because it actually makes a really big difference. So this is in East 40th Street Checkpoint. So a couple of vendors up from the last place, East 58th Street Checkpoint. It wouldn't be a vendor reset without one of these. A near perfect god rolled specialized bag. Electronics is rolled at 1229. It's already got health on it and the mine attribute unfortunately is disrupt resistance. So all you'd really need to do here is roll off the disrupt resistance for ammo capacity and you've got yourself that perfect specialized bag. So this is an East 58th Street Checkpoint. In the DZ08 safe room we've got a pair of savage gloves. These are rolled really high on electronics at 1000 238. The major attributes are SMG damage, crit hit damage and enemy armor damage. All you need to do here is roll off enemy armor damage for crit hit chance and you've got yourself a perfect pair of electronic savage gloves for any SMG build. I'd probably recommend these gloves with a 3 and 3 so 3 tacticians, 3 high end SMG build and you'll be surprised at how strong it will be. But these are in the DZ08 safe room. We're now in dark zone safe room 6. Here we have a really nice Lone Star holster. All three major stats are pretty high. We've got firearms at 1249, stamina at 1260, and electronics at 1262. It's got crit hit chance rolled as a major attribute, so roll that off for whatever you feel like, and you'll have yourself a really nice Lone Star holster. So that's in Dark Zone Safe Room 6. So that's covered weapons and gear. We're now going to look at gear mods as well as weapon attachments. 
So the first gear mod is going to be in West 31st Street Checkpoint. Here we have a prototype firearms mod rolled with a really high skill power at 3029. I actually need to pick up a couple of these because I have no firearms mods rolled with skill power. In the firewall safe house, we have a stamina mod here rolled with 3% skill haste. You can never have enough of these. I'm sure I repeat myself every week, but I need to pick up a few more. So we're now in Autumn's Hope safe house. Here again, we have another stamina mod, this time rolled with health at 3,221. This is an Autumn's Hope safe house. Unfortunately guys, I couldn't find too many weapon attachments that were worth mentioning this week. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed the vendor reset and if you did, then let me know by either leaving a comment or by clicking that like button. And if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with all of the division, then make sure to subscribe. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.